everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Rachel and we are just gonna throw together some things during the week of what we're kind of a what's for dinner but using stuff from our freezer again we're doing a freezer pantry challenge again uh, to use up what we can before it gets to real big canning season um, stuff like that I know I don't have a garden going but it doesn't mean I'm not going to be canning <laughs> and if you watch my videos in January which you can go back and watch those um, I canned a lot of different sides and meals and stuff like that so we have things um, for busy nights busy lunches stuff like that and yeah so hopefully you enjoy this video and see what I come up with and using stuff I already have in my freezer I'm not buying any meat and using stuff off my shelves um, things I've already canned, make some room on there for the coming months that are upon us during the busy time of summer and veggies and garden and stuff like that because I have friends that will give me stuff and I also have flash food, which I love. So I just go buy a box of stuff and do what I need to do. <laughs> so anyway, hopefully you like this video and uh, let's get to it and see what I come up with. Cheers. So you've seen me do this before. This is one of those tri-tip uh, roasts that, well, it's not roast, right? A tri-tip. <laughs> um, that's already marinated and everything. And I get it from Flash Food when they're on clearance meats. And they are so good. So anyway, so I just got to do this for about 45 minutes in the oven. And then I am going to just use one of my... Um, mixed veggies I think I'm going to go with tonight mixed veggies of canned veggies that I did where it's got green beans and carrots and stuff like that and we're just going to heat those up as a side to go with it but I'm using stuff off my shelf and on my freezer because I need to make space and get ready for the new you know new season coming up of different goodies to do and can and freeze and all kinds of stuff I'm going to use one of these and there we go. I'm just going to heat it up over the stove real quick. It's a um, garlicky broth and we will have it with that for dinner. And that's what's for dinner using what we have. So for tonight's what's for dinner is going to be super quick and easy because I've been cleaning and gardening all day or all afternoon once I got home from work. So I'm going to use my own jarred spaghetti sauce and I'm going to make something we call no spaghetti spaghetti. You may have seen it on the channel before when I've done what's for dinners. I just make up ground beef. I add seasoning to it, Italian seasonings. I put a little bit of sauce down. I put this ground beef on top of it, and then I put some cheese on top, and that's it. We just we eat it low carb. We don't put spaghetti noodles with it. We don't do squash noodles, none of that stuff. Simple and easy. Okay, I'm gonna drain it and add the seasonings. Okay, garlic powder and Italian seasoning. Now we put salt and pepper. And I just realized that I brought up the salsa, so I gotta go downstairs and find this spaghetti sauce. Okay, here we go. So tonight I thought I would make, um, I have some leftover, did I show it in this video? Anyway, I have, I did that tri-tip. Anyway, hold on. Um, so I have leftover tri-tip left and I thought to make, let's make a, like a steak salad type thing, right? I am growing some herbs or, uh, yes, some herbs and I'm growing some lettuce, crisp head lettuce, I think is what it's called. And I started those from seed inside, and they are, they're good. Like, I got enough. I do have a little bit of romaine left that I can kind of mix in with it. But I think, I just, I don't know. I'm, or I did already make a salad out of the romaine yesterday for me, my sister-in-law, my husband. So, there's not much left of it. But I can, um, but I can still use what's left of it and maybe add it in with my lettuce. And then I have fresh herbs out there. I want to make my own vinaigrette for it and then put the steak on it. I do have a cucumber. I have some tomatoes. 
um, cheese. You know why I always have cheese and stuff like that. I just thought a nice summer salad would be good and using up some of the leftover tri-tip in the salad would be really good because my husband loves it. We both love it, but he really loves it. Every time he's always like, so good. This is just so good. So why not make it into a salad? But I am going to start with this uh, for the vinaigrette, this olive oil that's infused with garlic. Um, I got it as a gift. I've already opened it. It's really good. So I'm going to use this. And normally, kind of, I think you should probably be using white wine vinegar, but I don't have any. I have every vinegar under the sun, but white wine vinegar. I have red. I have, I don't have champagne. I have, like, you know, I have so many of them. You, if you've been watching me, you all know I have balsamic. Um, but I'm just going to use white vinegar and maybe have to add a little bit of sweetener to it if I need to, to tone it down a little bit. But we're going to mix these. We're going to go out and cut some herbs from the fresh herbs that I have and cut our lettuce and make our little salad. And I'm so excited. So using what I have and using my garden surplus, my little tiny garden. I'm not, you know, I'm doing more flowers this year. So anyway. I just want to show that with you. Let's do it. Okay, so I have some parsley, cilantro, dill. I'm not going to touch my dill yet because I don't want, I, I have other plans for that. Um, basil, mint, and chives. So we're going to get some of these things and then we're going to use this as my lettuce. Isn't it beautiful? I don't even want to cut it, but I have come out here and snacked a few pieces off it. <laughs> but it's so pretty. But I know you got to cut it, right? Because then it'll flourish even more. I think I know this is cilantro and I'm gonna cut it. I know this mixture of herbs is probably not gonna be the best mixture of herbs, but I don't care. I'm gonna make a vinaigrette out of vinaigrette out of it and we're gonna use it. Because if you don't use it, I don't want it to go to seed if I'm gone over the weekend or something like that. Um I'll put a little basil in there. I'm gonna get a little bit of my parsley and a little bit of my chives in there I love chives I keep coming out here and I'll snack on the chives and a little bit of the lettuce as I'm walking around Ugh. water in my plants this thing is so good so we got chives this I think I need a little bit more Some more parsley we'll do this is a different basil but I'll use it because I don't want it to oh no hold on I dropped one I don't want it to, I feel like in the last few years I forget to use some of it and then you know it's not that great or I have to freeze it and stuff like that and I want to use it I might use a little dill just a little let that grow back. That I grew from seed. Okay. And I do have seeds in here also of other um, herbs to start growing. Okay, so we got this and this is what we're going to use. Yay! Alright, this is going to kill me. Because I do love my lettuce. Or I, I just love watching it grow, flourish, be beautiful. <laughs> It'll be okay. I know that's what it's for. just want to make sure I don't cut some and then not get enough. Or lose a piece if I cut it and I don't see it. The whole point is to use this, right? I know. Okay. I think that's good. I think we have a good amount there. I'll go in, wash it up. I don't use anything on. I just, I mean, I do fertilize them, so. But, okay. Here we go. Well, geez, is that enough? Do you think? God, when you squish it all down. 
Maybe I should get a little more. All right, that's it. I don't need a big salad. I'm just more concerned about my husband. <laughs> We're gonna do a quarter cup of vinegar. I'm trying to read this thing here. And a third cup olive oil, and then all these. And I'm gonna just put it in here. You can hand chop them and just put them in a jar with the oil and vinegar and shake it if you want to. Um, but I am gonna do it this way. And then a third cup olive oil, which I think this garlic will be good. If you don't have garlic, obviously use whatever, just use regular olive oil, it's fine. I can't see on this thing. Why did I pick the one where all the measurements are off it? Goodness sakes. Okay. I think that's good. I don't know. I can't see. I think I will just put one thing of like a stevia packet in here just to tone down the regular white vinegar and then I'm going to do a little bit of salt and pepper because I don't want something with tons of flavor because that steak that I'm using the leftovers has lots of flavor in it okay so I'm just going to rip these stick them in go. Okay. Oh, that's good. I just don't know if I have woo, too much. Maybe I need a little bit more olive oil. So good, you guys. Who would have thought? It's definitely, obviously, you use vinegar. It's a vinaigrette. That is so good. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to have the salad. All right, so I'm going to chop. I'm doing a small salad for myself because my husband eats more than I do. <laughs> and I really don't need that much. Oh my God, this smells so good. And I will tell you, this crisp head lettuce is so good. Like, I'll go out and just eat a piece of it, and it's kind of a little bit sweet. I think that's enough for me. Sweet, uh, crunchy, but soft at the same time. Okay, guys, I'm going to put this in the fridge for a little bit. That's my dressing. Clean jar. We're using lid. It's not being sealed. I'm just putting it in the fridge for a little bit. I'm just going to chop up some cucumbers on mine. I'll save this cucumber for my husband. And I've got one full cucumber for this weekend to use. I still have some of this lettuce for him. Some of the romaine. So if I have to use that, that works out. I'm going to chop up um, a little bit of a Galleon. It's going to be like just whatever I want or whatever I have in the fridge. It's going to go on the salad. But I'm using what I have in there. I might as well add a little. I know I had a little chives, but this is nice, more garlicky. I'll save that for my husband's thing. I could eat scallions like they are. They're so good. Okay, I'm going to. I have some little red tomatoes. My salad. Have see them. They gotta be used up anyway. It's gonna be so <laughs> just gonna be pretty. That's what I'm saying. Now let's keep that out for his. Now cheese. I'm gonna do a light, just a little bit of uh, 
Cheddar Jack or Colby Jack or whatever you have. Kind of Just a little bit on here. Now I'm going to cut up the little leftover steak. Okay. Look at that. Look how good that looks. So I'm just going to drizzle a little. Maybe a little. Whoops. A little more than a little. Yummy. Look at all the fresh herbs that I grew. Um, the fresh lettuce that I grew from seed. And some of the herbs grew from seed also. And then leftover steak. And the tomatoes are from the grocery store. <laughs> and Or actually from flash food. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm a little low on... It's been a hectic week and... Um, <laughs> A lot of things going on, but I have my sausage sweet potato soup that I canned back in January, and I'm a little low on lunch stuff for my husband, so, and it's going to be kind of a cold, crappy, not cold, but you know, when you're in the 80s and now all of a sudden it's like 60s, um, so I'm going to heat that up in the pan and disperse it in two different containers for him, so he's got it for the next couple days in his lunch, so. That'll take care of a lunch for him, which will make me happy. And yeah, so let's do that. So I don't have to cook this now because obviously when I put it in um, the containers, he will heat it in the microwave tomorrow. But I just want to get the fat distributed a little bit and then um, just, so I'm not really going to cook it, cook it. But you can see the sweet potato, or yeah, sweet potatoes, so pretty firm. This is good. We've had a couple of jars of this already. I just want to, I don't know, get it liquefied and going. Then I can put it in his dish. Put it back in the fridge, let it cool down a little bit, and then, um, yeah, that'll be at least a nice lunch for him tomorrow and the next day. Exactly why I like to make meals and complete sides. So that way I can just pull them out when I need to for a side dish or a, a lunch for him or when I come home for lunch. It's perfect. Actually really works out really well for us. So I'm excited to try some new things and um, get some more canning going here shortly. Okay, there we are. I made two of these for us. It's not a lot, but it's enough for either our one hearty lunch for someone um, when you can in a pint when you're doing soups or stews or something. But this is pretty, he gets a sandwich. So he still gets a sandwich and he gets plenty of stuff in his lunch. But this is nice, something warm for tomorrow because it's going to be rainy and kind of a little chillier. Um, and it's usually, if it's a pint of side veggies for us, then it's enough for me and him and maybe a smidge left over for a lunch, but not a lot. So, yeah. Oh, that's my egg timer going off. Ignore that. Okay, so for tonight's What's for Dinner is I have a lot of ham steaks um, in the freezer. Some are from the fair meat that we get or some is from like flash food this was a flash food one so this is huge and this is plenty for me and my husband and breakfast in the morning so I'm gonna cook that up I'll cut it up cook it up in the fry pan but I also went through my fridge to see what I had in there that I need to use up and this is fresh asparagus that came in one of the flash food boxes also so I want to use that up so it doesn't go bad um, I think I'm just gonna roast that I might even roast that. I might even throw that in a pan and roast it and let the juices get on that. Sounds like a winner, right? All right, so I'm just gonna roast that in the oven. Um, I put some olive oil on here and a little bit of pepper and onion powder. And uh, I just put pepper on here because the salt from this will get on these. And I think maybe 425 for about 20 minutes and we'll see how it goes. Okay, there we go. A nice, simple sheet pan meal ready for dinner tonight using ham slices from the freezer and asparagus, fresh asparagus that I had to use up that I got on clearance from Flash Food. Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Hit the subscribe button. It is free, people. It is free to subscribe to my channel, to anybody's channel on here. Um... Hopefully you enjoyed watching some of the things I put together with the stuff we already have at our home, using stuff from the freezer, from our canned goods that I did, uh, mostly in like January and February, stuff like that. 
I'm going to keep going through all of June, use some of the stuff up. I am making a dent in the freezer, which I'm so excited about. Um, I've had a few couple days where we ate out with friends or with family and stuff like that for special occasions. I'm not going to knock myself. I'm going to give myself grace. That's what you do. It's family, friends, they're important. So that's what we did. Um, but yeah, other than that, saving some money and I haven't shopped much at all except for like fresh dairy things like cheese or cottage cheese or something like that for my husband's lunch. So, oh, I'm a pop. I have to have my Coke Zero. Do you understand me? It's important. Okay, anyway, <laughs> hopefully you enjoyed this video. Remember, thumbs up, hit subscribe if you haven't because I know there's a lot of you that watch that have not subscribed. Tisk tisk. Cheers.